is a quick overview, overview of the clay printer um, based on the Papilio. Uh, Papilio is an um, FPGA board, a Xilinx FPGA board, and uh, basically FPGA is um, you kind of design your own CPU, so it's extremely fast and extremely parallel, um, which was important in this project because, as you can see over here, the Z-axis for our CNC machine has a little um, linear encoder and um, a strip from a printer attached to a CD-ROM um, case and uh, those require quite a bit faster processor power than uh, for example the Arduino, Arduino can supply. Okay so um, here's our breadboard we got the this ID cable here, printer cable is um, going out to a stepper motor board and we have a X motor axis here and a Y motor axis those are just temporary Eventually they'll be hooked to the real ones. Um, this is just the power supply and then if you come over here we have a DC motor driver here. It's just a simple chip. It allows you to go backwards and forwards and have more than 5 volts into the motor. Um, we got the encoder here and those require um, a resistor not to burn out the LED which I've done a few times and also they require pull-up resistors um, on the uh, sensors in order not to heat up which I've done a few times. Um, and then there's various switches for, for example, the end here. When this slides over to the end, it hits, goes into that light detector thing there and um, indicates that you're at the end. Okay, so let's fire it up. Um, we have uh, also uh, the VHDL code here. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in there. Basically the motors and um, a serial communication with a C-sharp program. Um, the C-sharp program is here, and when you run it, it's here. Um, and this is the image we'll be printing on clay with a needle. And uh, here is just test buttons, forward, back, left, right. And the drills are the Z-axis. So let's turn this on, and uh, we'll click a few of those buttons. First we'll do left, right. This will be the X-axis, so there's left and right. The Y-axis is forward and backwards. These coming through this stepper driver board. And then over here is our drill. Now if we go drill 5, drill 10, as you can see it's moving back and forth. That's actually about 200 steps, that little little bit of movement. If we go further here, this is to drill 30, it goes further along. But as you can see this is incredibly precise and um, it does have enough force. I believe it will have enough force to uh, drive that needle into clay. Um, this actually seems to be quite a bit extra, so that's great. Alright, signing off till it's assembled.